If Peter B is running with anyone as the vice president or running mate, I will walk against that ticket. Aisha Yusufu speaks. Activist Aisha Yusuf has stated that she will actively oppose Peter B if he ever agrees to be the running mate of any politician in the 2027 general election. There have been suggestions for B to run as the vice presidential candidate for a prominent Northern politician. However, Obi has rejected this idea, though he remains open to collaborating with anyone committed to advancing Nigeria's progress. According to Aisha Yusufu, he should run as vice. I am giving you my word now. Do not say I did not say it. If Peter B is running with anyone as the vice president or running me to that person, me, Aisha Yusufu, in my little capacity, I will work against that ticket. Even if I do not support any other party, it is to work against that ticket. Because what is this? We are always asking the best to be second. They have turned Peter B to the case of the way they treat women. Do at least put you in the deputy position, running mate. I have said it the other time, even if it is a goat that is running for president, you people will put Aisha Yusuf as vice because as a woman, you see me as vice and nothing else. Me too, I saw that particular, I, I saw it, I was like, is this plain? What kind of plain is this? It is not even not making any sense because why? It's a northern that sat down on that seat for eight years. And we all know that, now four plus four, now everybody do. Except in Jonathan's descendant is because the late president Musa Radwan, you understand, he did some years before he died. Do you understand? May God bless his soul. So when I said, I was like, I think okay. Even if, even if, not even not Tana, I can even come talk. I think That's not why I use laugh. I say people must be joking. That my laughter is, hey, dear, what's serious? Bye. You are playing off play. That was my reaction. Because tell me why my southern president is supposed to be there. Normal. As far as say, never did, we never decide to go our separate ways. Now southern is the nine day. Hmm? Even if they say they want to rearrange and tomorrow, now southern people go first allow make southern complete their channel. If they complete their channel finish, then they won't come rearrange and say, okay, maybe not three, three years or not two, two years. No problem. But see as for now, that's something I go did here. Yes, something. Okay. Yes, my dear Nigerians must start somewhere else because I have seen from Bula Jonathan, a former president. Thank you all. From the world go, Obi have always maintained one position that of seeing Nigerian work, not necessarily become president. He, he said he never said that, but even if he did, he has given out his condition to that getting someone better, which I believe will be difficult to meet. Considering the present crop of politicians we have. So Aisha, my dear, she dies word. Okay. Like I said, sincerely, what he attracts Nigerians to be eh, is what I call the, um, how am I going to put it? The way he came in from the first time with this man talk. Hey. We were not hearing the thing, the thing that was coming out from his mouth was not what you know understand? Because he has already been put in vice presidential position, so cooking so rich. But you see when they come out of your mouth, ah, ah, these things they are very they are sounding good, it's sounding like it, it came from another world and another school of thought. His campaign he did not come to rubbish or tarnish like ABC does. What they do is Character demoralization and assassination and defamation. That's what they do. He did not come out to be robbing, you know, to wash dirty learning. I was like, ah, ah. Everybody was like, wait a minute. Who is this person? Who it is? And they said, eh, he's in it. He's because, eh, eh, what's it called? He's in it. He's pretending. You're all kind enough to pretend. I don't understand. Your candidate, that is what I was even saying. Your all kind enough to pretend. Who are you? Everybody owe you. <laughs> he continued. Even after election, eh, if they do you don't go see her. Eh, you don't go see anything. You go do this one, you don't go do it there. <laughs> make us make with the watch. For me, I said almost the same thing that would be become vice president. So who? Who is, who is this person? Because the people we get now, I don't go close my talk, 
Those people that be thieves, embezzlers, up to no good. The crop of the people he did there. Except the one time he said, I mean, fresh people. I want to, to people that have the same make Nigeria and Nigerians better that type of goal. Then I have no problem. But you see, this ones we don't need there before. The Allah, please, I beg. And those people be like sour food. They be say if you eat, your belly will punch you. You go shit out your intestines. Ha. Huh. If he does, childish in his adulthood is displays. He is blind and mind. Okay, he's blind and mind blown not to recognize fantasies. Flatterers who always want to use his popularity and crowd playing ability to make way for themselves. Sure you get. Obi was irrelevant to them. My dear O, oh, she be them push her out of PDP. You are not this one. You are not this one. They are not this one. So why? Now, they, all of a sudden, because they see people is now at his back. The thing is, they cannot even, they cannot even pretend. What he's doing cannot be, they cannot pretend to do it because they will not be able to do it the way he's doing it. You know when something is, you do something easily. That's why they say you not know, to copy anybody. Hey, you're yourself effortlessly. You are yourself. And people like you for you. No matter how other person pretend, the person will not be able to keep up with the image for long. Oh my sweet, you are you go tired the person. Truth. Obi was irrelevant to them. Why now is he relevant? If spelt has caught okay, if his spell has been cast to Obi, I tell him they will use him for their way and dump him at last. They that clamor for B to be their vice or running mate are political psychologists that understand political stand of view, stand points of this nation today. To my understanding, the renowned business and should not be given such office again. Look at the case of Turnbu. He did not care if Nigeria is suffering, but he cares about his business. So likewise, anyone take that's my advice of my take. Look, Peter, uh, what's it called? Tunumbu is not a businessman. Please show me the business Tunumbu is doing. Show me how he's making his money. Proof. That is what I know. I mean, a proper businessman who starts as a businessman, not dear in who's making money. Tell me. Show me. Mm. Show me. I want to know. I want to see. How he you start? The year where he make him, what he need to do to make him, how he use developing revenue. Because to me, running this country will need also that side of his sense, that side of business sense. You cannot do without it. You cannot, you will also need the business sense. You will also need the corporate work, the two of both worlds. You will need it. Now tell me, show me, show me. So you cannot come and say you cannot give it to a businessman because... We have people today, they don't work in the corporate world. They also do business. Now, the blend of the two worlds, where at the end of the day, they empathetic. We will be saying, in goal, now making see Nigeria stand again. Making see Nigeria shine again. Making see the youth of Nigeria be empowered. So they will create a ripple effect that will sustain development. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.